Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Supreme Guru here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you Google's keyboard, which is called Gboard. Gboard is available for iOS devices, so your iPads, your iPhones, whatever. And then you also have it available for Android. So it is cross platform, you'll be happy to know. So if you're looking for a new keyboard or even a keyboard that is a little bit easier and better for you to use, then stay tuned. So we're gonna be looking at the Gboard app on the Huawei P9. So I'm gonna be looking at it on an Android device. The iPads and the iPhones may look slightly different. So for this tutorial only, we're doing it on Android. Yeah, boy. Hey, what is up guys? So I've got the Huawei P9 sitting in front of me. And I'm gonna show you, first of all, how to go about downloading Gboard. So let's head to the Play Store. Now that you're in the Play Store, Let's search for Gboard. Gboard. Ha, huh, that didn't get it. Let's search for Gboard. Gboard. Right. Okay, so obviously the Northern Ireland accent isn't great with Google. Okay, so we're downloading the Gboard. So it's the Google keyboard. So let's just make sure that we've got it set up. Let's go to our settings on our phone and we're gonna look for language, probably in advanced settings here. Yeah, language and input. So let's go in here. Okay, default keyboard is my swipe, Huawei swipe. Let's change that now to Gboard. Okay, grand. So we're changed to Gboard. So let's go into a text message, create a new text message and click here and that will bring up Gboard. Now, this may just look at like another keyboard to you, but let's get in to the settings. So to get to the settings on this one, you have to hit the uh, comma and hold it in and then you get Gboard settings. So let's go in here. First of all, you can select your language. So I'm in the UK, so English UK. Let's go to preferences. Okay, so up here you've got customized input settings. I'm just gonna leave that as it is. Now if I wanted a number row on my keyboard, I could do that. So what that means is whenever you have your keyboard up in front of you, uh, you don't have to hit the one, two, three button to bring up the numbers. The numbers will already be there. And I will show you what I mean. You see now that the numbers have came up. So that's uh, very handy actually, believe it or not. Okay, let's go into the settings again. Let's go back to the other settings. So show emoji switch key. Happy days, yes, we'll leave that on. Show emoji, emojis, emojis, emojis in symbols keyboard. So basically if you turn that on, it will show recently used emojis in suggestion strip of symbols keyboard. I'm not gonna turn that on. One-handed mode, if you have a huge phone and you don't like using it with two hands, then you can change it to one-handed mode, which will shrink down your keyboard app um, this one, again, I love. You can actually change the height of it. So let's go with mid tall. Hit the OK button. Do we want sound on key press? Hell no. I don't want that. Vibrate on key press? I don't want that either. I don't like any of that stuff. Pop up on key press? Yes, let's keep that on. Long press for symbols. Long press keys to access hinted symbols. Okay. So you can get a 3000 milliseconds 
You can just uh, change the length of time it takes you to long press A key. And let's go to theme. So we can choose between different colors of keyboards. Okay, if I wanted to choose that horrible purple color, you could see it there. I could do that. I could also get keyboarders, which I absolutely dislike. Um, and then this is what I love the most. Okay, so let's go with this one. You can actually put a picture now onto your Gboard. Um, but you can also you can also add in a photo if you want it for yourself. So like um, there you could pick a photo. I could go into my recent documents, go to gallery and pick a, let's just do it just to show you. Uh, recommended pictures. So say for example, I wanted this. Choose image. What part of the image do I want to see on my keyboard? Let's go over here. And there you can see that that, look at that. Isn't that amazing that you can do that to a keyboard? Anyway, let's go back. Back, 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 back. Okay, so you can you can customize it. Text correction. Uh, so display suggested words while typing. Yes, that is very handy. Uh, next word suggestions. Use the previous word when making suggestions. Yes, I keep all these on. Okay, I'm not gonna go through absolutely everything. Uh, auto correction. So if you don't like being auto corrected, you can turn that off. If you don't like being having your uh, new sentences have a capital letter automatically do that, you can turn that off. Uh, and double space. So if you hit the double space bar, it will produce a full stop. Glide typing. Uh, if you've never used swipe typing before, then you might not know what that is, but I will show you. You can go to dictionary, select the dictionaries. You can search, suggest Google search queries as you type in supported languages. Uh, okay, so advanced, what is it? Uh, symbol for a physical keyboard, show up icon, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so now you can see my keyboard is very nifty looking. Swipe is basically this. Hello, hi, or you today. Okay, so you just swipe along the letters that you would um, use, you know, instead of typing it out. It's sometimes really a lot quicker if you do it that way. Um, and then you can bring up your emojis. And you can still go to your symbols. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button. And if you want to see more tech videos by me, then it would be really nice if you would subscribe to my channel. Um, and you know, until next time guys, see ya.